on airline tonight, angry passengers and how to handle them. Plan A, keep smiling. That really is going to be an uproar down. <laughs> Plan B, stand your ground. I don't appreciate anyone calling me an evil bitch just because she turns up late for their flight. Or Plan C, go away. Leave well alone. Go away. If you don't want help, sir, that's fair enough. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away If you can use some exotic booze There's a bar in far Bombay Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away 9 a.m. is usually the busiest time of day, but Luton Airport is deserted. A four-car pileup has blocked the approach road. Fire engines are on the scene, but nothing can get through the jam. It's going to be impossible for passengers to get to the terminal in time for their flights. <laughs> Hello! How are you doing? I'm right. But Jane Bolton has made it in. Sick of dealing with irate travellers, she's thinking of a career change. Where are we going? Do you want to... I want to get in my handbag. Uh, coat. Again, coat. Like this, please. Today she's trying out life as a dispatcher, but as ramp manager Matt Smith knows, it's not an easy option. You have to be nice with everyone. As bad as it's going, you have to be seen to be in control and being nice. I can do that. Which is Jane. <laughs> <laughs> EasyJet dispatchers have 25 minutes to turn a plane around to supervise the refueling, reloading, safety checks, and to ensure people and bags get off and on. Planes won't wait for passengers, not even today, when dozens of people can't get through because of the road accident. It's chock block, everything is stationary, so there's no way, uh, well, certainly the knock-on effect's going to be massive, as far as passengers are concerned, so... They're all going to miss their aware. flights then? Yeah. Right, OK. Is that for the services now? Yeah, everyone knows. Um, we'll just deal with it as it comes. Uh, but certainly, just, you know, everyone that you come into contact with, just let them know that's the deal. Well, I'm glad I'm not in passenger services today, then. You had no help at all. You had no help for me at all. I was five minutes... It can't be more than five minutes away from the air aircraft. It took off at 9.30 anyway. Hello. Yeah, thanks. New girl Helen Skeggs isn't so lucky. Today, she's stepping into Jane Bolton's shoes as check-in troubleshooter. It couldn't be a worse day for it. She's got to deal with the dozens of stranded passengers who've missed their flights because of the car crash. I'm going to see if we can refund you, sir. Yeah. We can't delay a flight. But I pay extra. Send me on the next flight. Well, what that is, is that is the next flight, sir. And we're going to do it for you for free of charge. Well, I'd okay? pay extra if there's any earlier flight. But there was, if there was an earlier flight, sir, trust me, I'd get you on it, but we can't. So queue up at 58.59 and we'll get you on there. That's unreasonable. The whole of the airport stopped. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. I, see, I know what you're saying, but obviously I can see what I can do. I'm not guaranteed that we'll give you a refund. So what do I have to do? 58.59 and see what they can, see what they say. OK. That... I can't understand the man who's saying this is not on. You know, all I can do is find, transfer him free of charge. I can't... I don't know what to say. At EasyJet's other UK base, Liverpool Airport, the Belfast flight is about to depart. One passenger's just missed the check-in. Wilma Morrison needed to get to Ireland today to sort out the custody of her son. I've only got hand luggage. Oh, come on. Check-in supervisor Leanne Chung tries to help. I'm going to go to my I'm having problems with my kids. My wee boy, I'm going to go my wee boy if I don't get there. Sorry, you can't go, it's too late. There's another flight tonight, a quarter past nine. That's good, it's ten past, I can run. I've only got seven minutes before I can run, I'll be there in three minutes. I won't let you travel on the flight, it's too late. You can go on tonight, a quarter past nine. That's no good tonight. Around six million passengers touch down in Luton every year. They're the lucky ones. For thousands of others, landings and takeoffs are just too terrifying. For some people, even getting on board can be too much. Diana Pellet hasn't flown for 30 years. 
Hi, you must be Hello. Diane Pellet, yes? yes I Come am in, Helen. Terry Silverton. Nice to meet but you. she has a goal. She's desperate to visit her sister in Australia and is having hypnotherapy to try to overcome her fear. Even thinking about it, I get all these sort of negative thoughts. Uh, I believe everything's going to happen to my plane. It'll uh, crash, we'll be taken hostage, uh, all these ridiculous, irrational thoughts. I feel paralysed if I start thinking too deeply about it. Okay. What I'd like you to do is to take a nice deep breath, as deep as you possibly can, and then just let it go. It's 25 to 5. It's 20 past 9. Yeah. It's not good enough, that's what you say. Helen's under fire from a group of Belfast passengers who've missed the 9.30 flight. It left on time, and there isn't another one until late afternoon. The roads are blocked. I, how I can be here 20 minutes earlier to catch the flight then? I I've, I've been sitting in the I've been yeah. sitting in the taxi since 20 past eight. I, I would have been comfortably here at half past eight. I know that it's not your fault and it's not EasyJet's fault. I know, but, airline, I, but I am stuck here for nine hours. hours. But we're going to transfer you free of charge. But out on the apron, the relentless turnarounds continue. I'll go and relieve Pat, all right, and then he can come back. Done there. OK, we got the fuel, we got the catering, we've got everything except the bags. The bags are going to be delayed. So I'll go and relieve Pat from the inbound and he'll get in the hole. There's only one in the hole. What okay. you need to do is make sure that the load is going right because that's the only delay on the F with the turning around at the moment. So if you just hover, make sure that the load is going all right and I'll go and relieve Pat. All right? A missed slot can mean a delay of up to four hours. And there's bad news. Jane spotted another hold-up. Catering aren't here yet, are they? Uh, call, call them again. Hello, so to keep going, you've got to get off away in seven minutes. Oh, are they on the way yet? I've already told you I'll be back on the plane. Okay, thanks. It's apparently this will be the deadly bars, I've got them already. For EasyJet, it's crucial the flight departs on time. Just because you appreciate our problem yeah. doesn't help anybody. But we're doing and that's all you're doing. All you're saying no, is sorry, it doesn't help We're us. transferring you free of charge. It's yet in seven hours' time. But any other airline says, you, must, you understand from our point of view, but now you're not listening. Not, well, because you're, you're going to say... No, gonna, what I'm saying gonna repeat, is... You're going to repeat sorry. what you said to but me you're three times. To me. I am listening, but not, you're not listening to me, because I'm, I'm saying... you're not Because what I'm saying is that 25 to 5 doesn't help me. So I don't... I, I, what great, do you want me great, to do for I'd you? I'd like to get on the flight. That can't be done. There you are, then, so you can't do anything for me. <laughs> Life at the sharp end is getting too much for Helen. I'm going to cry in a minute. At times like this, when people just go on at you, on at you, on at you, I feel like I'm really, really rubbish at this job. I really do. I do. When I can't do more for them, I, do, I just want to just... I just feel rubbish at my job at this point in time. Meanwhile, Jane's mastered dispatch. The Amsterdam flight leaves on time. Thank you, Papa. Off chocks at 50 with a TOB of 131 plus one. 89 bags, two lift ons, one slow walker, no delay. Yes! Can I get a transfer for that again? In Liverpool, Wilma Morrison's back trying to transfer from EasyJet to another airline. Excuse me, can you transfer that here? You just said to me two minutes ago, you transferred it. No, I said you could ask if you need to speak to Service Air, and I was told that you'd speak to who? Told you that you could speak to Ryanair, which is Service Air. Yes, Ryanair, is it not? Yes, but it doesn't mean that I can transfer your EasyJet ticket. You have to pay for a new ticket. You told me if I, I get them, um, you said to me you could transfer it. Never. Why are you done? Excuse me. Tired and anxious, the frustration's telling. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just a minute. Hey, thanks. Are you ready to begin the journey as we go through and approach the check-in desk? Nervous flyer Diana Pellet is booked on a Malaga flight tomorrow. Today is a last chance to overcome Seeing her fears. People around you, the smiling faces, the hustle and the bustle of a busy airport like it is. When you're ready to board the aircraft, you can let me know by left in the yes finger. That's wonderful. Good. And relax. You got the confirmation on that? No. Are you sitting smoking for them? 
Yes, Martin, you're not getting any children, have you? No. You're making them back, is it? Yeah. You're going to be rude, you're going to leave the desk because you're not having any You're going to need smart men, right? You're going to need smart men. You want to go away? You're smart men. You're smart Excuse me. Excuse me. The only thing that you can do with us now is transfer to the next flight, which is a quarter past nine. We can't transfer with another company. You have to go and pay the You're with me if I've had the United States now. Can I speak to the manager, please? Here, I'm the supervisor. You're the supervisor, you're yeah. to be a cleaner. Wilma later decided to take the EasyJet flight. That was disgusting. I can't believe that someone was out the nerve to speak to someone so disgustingly. And, and I don't appreciate anyone calling me an evil bitch just because she turns up late for her flight five minutes before departures. I tried my best for her, and that's what you get. It's just disgusting. Can I help you? I got here at nine. Meanwhile, it's round three at Luton. Essex businessman Reg Woders missed his Belfast meeting. You can understand that this is. Police are down there at a roundabout with the road blocked off. Yeah. And here am I, I had a business appointment this afternoon. I can't leave till 4 30. It's not easy at fault, sir. But there's no point in having a conversation that's going to lead me nowhere, is there? We can transfer your free charge and we give you the next free flight. I could do that for you. But the problem is, I don't want to go on the day. I've got to wait all here all day long. I don't want to go at 4 30 this afternoon. I've got to kick my heels here all day. Like a... Would you want, do you want to transfer your flight, sir, or not? Because we can do that. Oh, wait a minute. I'll make my decision. I've okay. all day to make my decision, haven't I? Till 4.30? Yes, you have. Thank you very much. You can wait, then. You made me wait. I'll make you wait. We personally haven't made you wait, sir. I'm not on a plane going to my destination, am I? But Helen won't be told. But to be fair, sir, I'm not, not going to argue, but I just want to make you understand it's not EasyJet's fault. This is not our fault. We have not delayed you. I was and here at 9.20. The departure 9.30. That's 10 minutes, you should be here half an hour before. And I know that's not your fault. I know that, it's not your fault and it's not lady, our fault. Lady, you're not helping the situation, go away. Do you know what, a lot of other airlines would make you pay for a full flight. Do you, do you know that? We'd make you pay for a go brand new away. ticket. Go away. If you don't want help, sir, that's fair enough. I'm just all just a bit, a bit peed off that they can't, I'm just getting shouted and shouted at and I'm not seeing any saying, oh, thank you this, thank you that, I know they're, they peed off as much as I am, but I don't want to say. What can I do? Deep breath, carry on. It's been a baptism of fire for Helen Skeggs. And after a day in the cold, Jane's decided to apply for a job in dispatch. I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I did, but it was great. <laughs> I spoke to two passengers in about 16 hours. That was fantastic. I know that sounds really wicked. It was nice. I want to be able to do it. Then you can. Uh, that's okay. What? Okay, that's lovely. Thank you. That's lovely. <laughs> what How dare you say it's lovely? A grim day at Luton. The terminal has been hit by torrential rain. The unexpected downpour is a bad omen for nervous passenger Diana Pellet, who's arriving for her Malaga flight. I'm just still keeping my fingers crossed. Of course, the weather doesn't help because it's raining and cloudy, but I'll try. Um, if you just like to go to the sales desk. It's a different day and a different problem passenger for Helen Skeggs. As a check-in agent, she's been trained to deal with nervous flyers. It's going to be her job to get Diana on the plane. Years and years and years ago, I used to suffer from the same thing. And um, if I was in a small space, I'd just, pan just panic. I'd get shaky and sweaty and I'd feel sick. And um, to get over it, I flew to America. Really? If you tell yourself, no, I'm going to be fine, then trust me, you'll be okay. There's less than an hour before Diana's flight leaves. Come and say, I've got to think, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do, do it. I'm going to do it. Meanwhile, passengers awaiting the 4.30 Nice flight are going nowhere. I mean, why are we waiting for three hours? I mean, this is ridiculous. I can't stand it. Within 10 days, being delayed twice for three hours. So how, how, can, how can you make plans on that? Passengers are angry that their flight is delayed until 7.30. But they're furious that a later Nice flight will now be taking off first. They take precedence to us. 
I find that's absolutely not fair. Why can't we leave on the 7 o'clock and they go on the 7.30? The passengers are obviously annoyed because the delayed flight is not still here and a later flight is now going and they're not. Just annoying. At 4.15 they told us, oh no, there's two hours delay, 7.30. Now they're telling us that the 6 o'clock are leaving before us. Absolutely unfair. We can't swap the aircraft round. We have actually asked if we can do that because we know that there is going to be an uproar down here. <laughs> My plans for having dinner in San Tropez. Uh, maybe have breakfast there. <laughs> Switch the pins. Well, that's, as I said, Operation has decided not to because there's only 15 minutes difference. And we cannot decide. It makes a big difference to me, 15 minutes. Again, we, we don't know where the, when the air, other aircraft is going to be here. So you may be going on time, you may be going earlier, you may be going later. It's only 15 minutes difference. You're telling me you don't know. It means that we may be delayed for another two hours. Is that the plane there? I don't know if it's that plain, but it's, it's one, one exactly like that, the same. It? Yeah. It's not very big, is it? If there's turbulence, will it shake about? No, not a lot. Not a lot. It will shake. There you go, it's your aircraft pulling around now. There's a lot riding on today. If Diana makes it to Malaga, she'll plan a dream holiday to Australia to see her sister's family. My little nieces, you know, they just keep saying, when is auntie coming to Australia? Mm. We've got her bedroom ready and she won't come. And my sister tells them the truth that I'm scared to fly. And they yeah. say, but why? We go to England every two years to visit her. And what's the problem? Why is she scared? I know. You know? And they can't understand it. Found this on a toilet. Yeah. Can you found on the toilet? Like is there, what's the yeah, it's stolen. Yeah, it's stolen. So, can you have a look up for passengers' names, mate? At check in, Katrina's got dirty work to do. Right, 402 from Palmer this morning. From Palmer? From Palmer this Palmer. morning. It's found on the Palmer flight inbound. It stinks. I thought that was you. <laughs> you smell it. Oh, I'm really <laughs> Ill. Using the credit card details, Katrina and Lee try to trace the wallet's owner. I've got under the six and the fifth. Short of any palm to lose and not lose. Trace it for the actual right for most then. But there's no record of the passenger on that morning's flight. I can't find it actually on it. Could the wallet have been in the toilet for longer? <sighs> Out on the apron, it's the moment Diana's been dreading. Yeah. Can I yeah. sit here? You want, yeah, sit, take a seat there then. Yeah. See you feel. I'll catch some of those out of the way for you. Right. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to stay on. Well, you just take a seat for now and we'll see yeah. you feel okay. You tell me before you go. Oh, you'll see, don't worry. It's all right. No, you just take a seat there. There's less than 10 minutes before the plane leaves. Helen's been great. I mean, she's, she's a very relaxing type. And, you know, she makes you feel secure. <laughs> but. I'm still thinking about when we're up there and I'm still very nervous. The Nice passengers have now been grounded for over three hours. In another 25 minutes, they'll qualify for a refund. I felt very angry. That the plane before, that the plane was, oh, yeah. that I, was I, going to take off after us, us took off left before, yeah. before us. They've gone and we're still here waiting. I'd wash your hands after that, Katrina. Katrina's close to solving the wallet mystery. I'm not touching my keyboard then. <laughs> Eighth of September, I've got here. That's been down that toilet for some time. You That's know been that. down there since she's flown out then. Yeah. She proves how long our toilets are cleaned out, doesn't it? She proves how often they're cleaned out. That's disgusting, I'll tell you. <laughs> the wallet's been in the toilet for more than a week. It's not something they'll be telling the owner. Thank you. It's not there. Aunt's fine. Do you want to take your phone back? I've just washed my hands. <laughs> need to wash your desk as well, darling. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs>
The Malaga flight has now boarded. It's decision time for Diana. I can't. We can't even talk to her because she's doing it. Look what she's doing. I got. just can't do it. I'm upsetting that lady there. No, you're not. I can't. I just can't do it. Everyone's going to be around you for the evening. I promise you, it's fine. Oh, it might crash. Was it? Don't that? say that. I've got to go out this weekend. <laughs> See? I hope not. <laughs> oh, I can't. Stay on the floor. I can't. I've got to go. I'll never fly in my life. Yes, you will. I feel very, very disappointed. Um, I had a good cry earlier. And um, I know when I found my sister tonight, she's going to be very disappointed as well. And I feel sad. But I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to, I'm going to, one day I'm going to make it. Also hoping to make it are the Nice passengers. They've now turned to the drink. We're just sitting here quietly, accepting the £5 luncheon voucher with open arms. It at least bought me a double chiller tonic. And um, we just got to wait. Two of us managed to get a bottle of wine for £10. One left on the Fit much better than And they're getting closer and closer to a refund. Can I ask what the delay is? What? Okay, that's lovely. Thank you. That's lovely. How dare you say it's lovely? I'm going to be getting on a plane again. How dare you say it's lovely? Another thing. Very close to the refund. Five minutes. Five minutes. Very close to the refund now. May I have your attention please? This call is to advise EasyJet passengers travelling on EZY259 to Nice of a further delay of five minutes to your boarding. This is due to a crew change. And may I most sincerely apologise for the delay and any inconvenience it may cause to your journey this evening. <laughs> and everybody's laughing. Well that's what we want. You see what a bottle of wine can do for you. Diana hasn't returned to an airport yet but is determined to fly one day. The wallet and its owner were later reunited. And the Nice passengers finally took to the skies, but they were too early for a refund and too late for dinner. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Some exotic booze There's a bar in far Bombay Come fly with me Let's fly, let's fly away 